Hello, hello, hello. It's the afternoon and I'm just getting my makeup started. So anyways, I have no idea what look we're going to do today. Um, I don't know. Let's just, let's just play around. Let's do a full on makeup look, setting spray and everything, right? Why not? We haven't done the setting spray, the primer, the setting spray for a while. And uh, yeah, I just kind of feel like playing around with some colors. Who knows? So after I put on my setting spray, I always use my handy fan from the Dollar Tree um, to go and dry it. Then I'm gonna go in with primer. Let's use the hydrating primer today. I'm so tired today. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if it's just Corona that's just making me tired, like quarantine or what. But I am so tired today. I thought I slept well last night. My arm is still a little bit sore, but as you can see, I can actually move it. Hey, Amanda, I'm on live, love. I will message you when I am done. Um, so anyways, I'm very happy I can go move my arm again. But I have no idea um, what is happening really with it. I don't know what I did. Who knows? I mean, it could be anything, right? Who knows? All right. Yeah, I'm just thinking let's just play around with some makeup today. Let's uh let's do that. You know, maybe we'll do like some full coverage today. What do you guys think of that? Maybe some BB cream liquid foundation. Yeah. All right, let's get all that stuff out. So, with liquid foundation, as you can see, it separates because it's a mineral, um, it's a touch mineral, uh, liquid foundation. So all you do is shake it up, okay, and then squeeze your dabber and then shake it up again, okay? You just want to make sure it's really well mixed before you put it on, all right? So that's fun. All right, we would normally wait three to five minutes but I'm bored, so let's go now. We'll just put on that setting spray again. This is my usual pre-makeup routine. I recommend it to you guys. Uh, primer not only helps your makeup stay on better, but it actually like kind of gives you a smoother base, we'll say, like when you do, I need a different makeup table. Um, like when you go and you do painting, all right, we're gonna use some BB cream here first. So when you do painting, you prime your walls first, right? Well, that's what this does. It just it gets your wall ready. That's all. I probably should have brought up a pop. I'm so tired. Okay, we're going to put a one, two, three drops. I'm going full here, guys. Full. Okay, so I'm using liquid foundation in the shade Lace as well as BB Cream in the shade honey. Okay, if you have any questions, you wanna get color matched, whatever, I am here to help you. Just message me, you can go and actually do it online also. It will, you just upload your picture and it will go and help you pick out a color, okay? So what's really great is that I am lace, typically, but I can wear um, taffeta. I was going to say tool, but like my spray foundation is in taffeta and it still totally works. So even if your one color is out, as long as you stay within a couple shades of that color in that base, like let's just say you have a yellow undertones. As long as you stay with that, we're going to put on two more little drops. Those are just the teeniest of drops, okay? All right, and we're gonna swirl this around. Just kind of building up the coverage. We're just having some fun today. Uh, I do actually have to go to Costco. I have to go get some groceries there. You would think I wouldn't have to go so often, but you know what my problem is? I keep forgetting, not I keep forgetting, but I forgot my phone last time I was there and I had no idea what I needed. So I have no mustard. And I need mustard. Why is there so much glare? It's weird. All right. 
See if that helps. No, then I can't see myself. Anyways, if you're here, come say hi. Uh, now we're going to go and use... Not yet, actually. We're going to put on a little bit more foundation. As you guys saw, I barely put on any. Okay. There we go. We're going to put it between our fingers. And we're dabbing it on. Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> okay, now we're going to use... Why is that so crazy? Anyways, we're going to use our Damp Beauty Blender. And we are patting it in. Okay. And <laughs> I need to get a new nose ring too. My little charm fell out. What the heck? I'm trying to remember how old this is. Um, I got it done two years ago. So, but I changed up the jewelry. So I think, yeah, I got it done on the last day of school. And I think I got my tattoo done on the first day of school. Yeah, anyways, um, I need to go get a new one. Probably just order it off Amazon, let's be honest. I don't know if I really feel like going to a jewelry store right now. All right, so we're gonna go in with some Organza concealer. All right. And just kind of putting this all over. Now we're gonna go with our smaller uh, beauty blender and it is also damp, so I wring it underneath the water and then, oh, sorry, I put it underneath the water and then I wring it out, okay? So that there's nothing um, left on it, like no water. I don't know what I'm saying. See, I'm too tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. I just am so tired, so. We're just patting it in to really make sure that um, we, <laughs> friends, that we get the covers that we want. And there we go. There we go. Okay. I just have a couple blemishes that I want to cover up. Uh, and there we go. Okay. I think that's good. We'll see. Let's do a bit of highlighting here. Hey, Marino, how's it going? All right, now the highlight, I'm using the stick foundation in the shade Scarlet. And try not to get it in your eyebrow hair. That's what I do, don't worry. All right, and then I'm gonna take my Kabuki brush because that is what I like to really put my um, highlight on with and any of my stick foundations. Okay, and then just kind of stipple it on your neck or your nose and above your eyebrows and that, but when it comes to your eye part, you can't really stipple it there. There we go. And if there's too much, because sometimes I forget how well this works, um, just go and... Take it off like that. So, my favorite foundation though is the spray foundation. It's really, really good. All right, so we're just gonna go, make sure all of this is ready, and then pat it all in. So we don't wanna look like we have a ton of makeup on, but like I said, we're doing full coverage today, okay? There we go. There we go. Okay. And yes, I'd say we're good there. Let's go with our next step, which is let's put on, like I said, we're going full out here, guys, full out. Let's put on some of our um, translucent setting powder. So I got contacted by this website. Um, they wanted to do a phone, not an interview per se, but letting me know what they were all about. They were interested in me representing head candy. Um, but there's a yearly fee to be on their website, which I was like, oh, I don't know if I really want to pay that. 
Um, so I just really don't know what to do. I'm just gonna put on some lace foundation on this one spot that I have, cause it's being a brat. So, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna do it or not, you know? It'd be different if it was like 20 bucks for the year. But it's also American, so then I have to add like what, 35%? Okay, so we're just going in with that translucent setting powder. Make sure that before you put it on that your makeup is the way you want it to be, okay? So this will just help stop everything from coming out. If you get warm, you know what I'm saying, ladies? You know what I'm saying, huh? All right, now we're going to go in with the shade Taffeta for um, pressed powder, which is another foundation choice. But this is just, you know, to bring everything, because we use different shades. So we're just rounding it out, okay? And always, always, always make sure you do your neck. I know I say that, but honestly, there's a reason why. A lot of people don't do their neck, and it just, it makes me sad. It makes me sad way before I even started, you know, selling Unique, because I've always worn makeup. Not like every day or anything like that. Now I wear makeup every day. Um, so I'm going in with some sunset bronzer. And we're just doing our cheek area. Anyways, it just, it doesn't look good when you stop your color like right there. Go down your neck. It's all good. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> okay. And along our forehead, as you can tell, this is a very, very light shade. Going along our jawline, down our neck. Because again, it's so important. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Okay. That is done. I'm going to show you guys a close-up of this. Looks so pretty. Don't you just love it? Now we're going to go in with our contour. So I use the shade Twill in a pressed powder. Um, I really like this because it's nice and dark, but it's not too dark. Okay, which is really good. Then, um, I like it because it blends in so well. So even if you, by mistake, put on a ton, it still blends in really well, which is good. Okay, when you're doing your contour, the point of a contour is to make that area recede. Okay, so you wouldn't do it on top of your cheekbone. You do it below your cheekbone, and then it just kind of makes it look like you have really high cheekbones or anything like that. If you have a, a nose that is larger or longer than what you want, you're gonna contour there. I like to contour underneath my bottom lip just to make it look a bit poutier. I do go along my forehead, not that I think I have a large forehead, um, but just, you know, you just, you just kind of do it. I like to start off really light, okay? So. All right. And, there we go. and don't worry, we can build this up, okay? And then you're going to go and contour underneath your jawline and it will make, and go down your neck too. Um, it'll go and make it look like your jaw is more pronounced, helps. Hey, Katie, I'm on. I know, either I'm in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Whatever the oven's at. I think it's Fahrenheit. All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, it's Fahrenheit. Right. Um, now we're going to go and actually contour our nose. Don't worry that it's not blended in. I am going to go and blend it in. Or I haven't done my forehead yet, have I? No. Okay, so you just take this. Just go along your forehead. Do some sweeping motions. Don't worry that it's not contoured yet. Or that, hey, Sarah, um, blend it in really well. And then you go like that. Now I'm gonna go with that big kabuki brush. Oh, oops. Sorry, thought I was talking to it. Okay, now I'm gonna go with that big kabuki brush and then watch. You just blend it all in, okay? There we go. And your nose. Oh, I didn't do it underneath my lip, okay? But you just doing this. So the other pro of contouring is 
when you go and do especially a full face of foundation like I did today you lose your natural shape and your you like your own face has natural contours highs and lows right everybody's does um, when you go and you put on foundation you lose a lot of that shape so now we're just bringing it back that's all you're really doing okay so you can do darker contour and you know what I say why not if I don't like it later I'll just take it off it's all good Okay, so let's go and build this up. Okay. And now. <laughs> Phoebe, she makes me laugh. Okay. Blend, blend, and blend. Okay, so now you guys can see me nice and close. Uh, there we go. Okay, like to really show it right there. I really like the look that I get with using the bronzer too. Um, like I said, I'm sure they're gonna bring out another bronzer because why wouldn't they? Uh, but let's discuss which blush we're going to use. Sisterly, I love. Seductive. Let's go with seductive. Actually, I love all of them. Sweet is probably my least favorite of what I have, but honestly, I do love them all. Okay, so I like to take my brush like this, swirl and tap, and then I'm just going to pat it on. Okay, this is a really, really light color. Okay, it looks like it's going to be dark, but it's not. And then a little bit on our cheek, because why not? Haven't been doing that lately. Okay, pat, pat, pat. It's all about the pat, 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 the dab, dab, dab. You know what I'm saying, don't you? Okay, let's go in with the cream to powder um, luminizer, basically highlighting powder. Well, this is cream to powder. Okay, so we're going to go from our temple on the top of our cheekbone, just like this. Okay, now you can also connect your um contour if you want it there i don't um i keep my contour to here and then my other contour ends there but let's just go and put some of this on a little bit on our cupid's bow okay i like using my finger instead of swiping it on because it gives that heat from your finger and it just warms it up so nicely then we're gonna go with powder luminizer Let's go with the shade Benevolent, okay? And we're gonna go, there we go. And then, there we go. And a little bit here, there we go, done. All right, so like I said, we're going extra, we're going full out here, let's have some fun. Let's um, make sure that we're happy and with everything being all blended in on our face. So as you can see, my highlight is right there. This really, I like the double, using the double highlights. I've got a nice blush line. I've got a contour line. I've got the regular going on and it just kind of enhances your face a bit, right? Now, another way to go and enhance your face is to actually do your eyebrows. Now, I normally always do this one first. This time I'm gonna do my left one first. Okay, so I really like the Brow Obsession palette, but it is not available anymore as far as I know. Maybe in other countries, but in North America, well, at least Canada, it's not available. But if you're in like maybe Mexico or Germany, England, you might still be able to get it. I don't know. Okay, but pretty much the only country that I know of right now that cannot purchase from us is South Africa. So if you are somewhere other than Canada or the US, you can still purchase. All right, now let's go and look at the difference it makes. It look, makes it look like I have more... Um, Eye space here, my face just looks more defined. That's why you do your brows. You do not need to go crazy. As you guys know, I don't go crazy with my brows. 
I don't paint them on like some people do, which is their choice. Sorry, I don't mean to sound judgmental, um, but it's just not my thing. All right, so. <laughs> and there we go. So now we're just filling it out and then take the spoolie end and then blend all those colors together, okay? There we go. Just filling in the front a little bit. All right. So I'm on the last seasons of Sons of Anarchy. Last season. Oh my God, Jill talk. Um, like I said, I know I'm late to the show, but whatever, I don't care. But yeah, like I just am not very happy with some of the things that have happened on my show here from season five and season six. Just saying. Okay, I have my Golden Girls cup today, as you can see. All right, now a little bit of uh, foundation on my lip there. Okay, uh, what's next? Let's do eyeshadow. Ready? Let's do some eyeshadow. What kind of eyeshadow look do we want to do? Let's see. I'm thinking you guys can't get palette too. No, but. They're similar colors. We can figure something out. And I'm gonna take this different brush, cause why not? We're gonna go with the shade Romantic, which is a very, very light silver. Okay, and we're using this big brush. It's soft, but it's not as pliable as my blending brush from Unique. So I don't think I like it as much, just FYI. But I do like to switch it around, plus I don't really want this silver all over my regular brushes. And we're just kind of putting it all over our lid here. All right. I should have taken a before picture. You know what? I didn't. I really should have. Because I'm doing a full-on eye look here, guys. Full-on. All right. Let's see. What else do we want to do? Let's clean off our brush. Our fluffy crease brush okay and we're gonna take the shade cocky which is like this really dark brown and I'm gonna lightly because I don't know how dark this is gonna be go back and forth along our crease and swirling <laughs> And <laughs> all right, we're just working this in. Let's just have some fun with it, right? So this is a dark brown, but it actually I swatch it on my hand here. Yeah, can you see that? It's a very dark brown. <laughs> I forgot John Stamos was a guest star on this show. It doesn't look brown in my eye. Isn't that weird? I'm going to take the blending brush now. And we're going to really work this in. Okay. And bringing it down our lid. Bringing it down our lid a bit. Just working it in. Let's see. There we go. And... Like I said, we're just blending. I like to blend. Take my time. Have fun. Let's have fun with this look today. All right, so don't worry. We are gonna go and get it going here. All right, let's go with, hmm. Uh, let's see, perplexed, which is like this dark gray, okay? Which you can get a similar color. We're going to put this right on our, just the lid here. Not like the whole lid, but just, you know, bring it up to our crease line. And 
And... <laughs> and yet, sometimes I need to have my mouth open while I do this stuff. Isn't that funny? When you do your mascara, are you a mouth open as you do it? Sometimes I'm both. All right, so now we're gonna blend in those two colors, okay? Just like this. You do have to be careful sometimes when you are using such dark colors such as this. Less is more. And if you do go a little bit too crazy with it, that's okay because we can always go and put like lighter colors on top kind of thing, okay? All right. And let's see. Using that same kind of lid brush, we're gonna go with the shade Peppy, which is a black. Okay, and we're gonna line our eye with that. Keep it nice and close to your lash line. And we'll probably line our bottom one too, just not yet. So my unique order that I ordered yesterday or the day before, shift out the next day. Isn't that crazy? It's so fast. I love it. Now, if it got delivered here as fast as Unique gets it shipped out, that would be amazing. But that doesn't happen. But that's okay. All right. So, we're just going to go and blend in all these colors. All right. As you can see, we just take our time. When you're using, as I said, dark colors, you're gonna to wanna to take your time. You're gonna to wanna to build up your colors and don't worry about taking the time to blend them in. When, especially when you're using like blacks and grays and that intense dark brown that I had on, which really doesn't look brown. It's so weird how it doesn't look brown. All right, so here we go. All right, now, I'm gonna go and highlight with a light color here too. All right, we're gonna take the shade Blissful, okay? Which again, this palette may not be available, but there are other palettes that you can get or other um, shades that'll work. So just let me know what kind of eye look you're going for and I can help you pick out colors. You guys know I love this stuff, right? So I'm taking that really nice, pretty highlight color with a pointed um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm just kind of going like that along the top. Then I'm gonna go and blend it in. Okay, now I'm gonna take that short stubby brush and I'm gonna use this color in the inner corner of my eyes, okay? And it will really lighten it up considering how dark this makeup look is, but look at how dark my eyes look, which I am here for, okay? Let's go extra, why not, right? We went extra on the coverage, so why not go extra on this look? And then, I'm gonna take that same pointed brush here, take this highlight, and I'm gonna go over the black eyeliner that we just did on our lash line. And look at how much fun that is to add that to where that black is. See how it just kinda adds this little fun glitterness? Yeah, cause you know I like the glitter, okay? And that's the thing, guys. Have fun with your clothes. Have fun with your makeup. I think it's a fantastic thing to do. Whatever makes you happy, do it. Who cares? Okay, we're going back with uh, Peppy. And we're going to use it underneath our eye. Okay. There we go. And then... Our 
<laughs> Chandler, such a dumbass. Okay, so you do that bottom lash line and then you just kind of blend it in like this. All right. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so do I feel like I need to line it up a little bit? Hmm. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go and take my damp beauty blender and just kind of pat up um, any of the makeup that may have fallen like that. And then, like I said, I'm just looking at myself in the mirror, making sure that I'm happy with how dark this is. And you know what? I kind of don't mind it. And we're gonna go and take this brush, we're gonna add some um, kind of a shadow, a cre not a crease color, but I don't know what the word is that I'm trying to look for right now, guys. But we're doing the outside corner, how about that? Okay, and we're doing it in that dark, brown shade called cocky although i'm telling you when it's on my skin on my eyes anyways it is not brown it's like a black so i don't know and it's just gonna add this really nice smokiness that's the word i was looking for <laughs> okay so yeah, we're doing definitely a smoky eye, which I'm all good with. So to finish off our smoky eye, we're gonna take our eyeliner in the shade Perfect, and we're gonna do both of our water lines, okay? You guys know I usually just do my upper, but when we have such a dark, it actually, you know what's funny? This dark smoky look is making my eyes look more of a light brown. I mean, who would have thought? And yet yesterday's look made my eyes look really dark brown and I use browns, but they were very neutral brown. So again, like I said, play around with your makeup. See what you like. Okay. And done. All right. I should probably clean my brushes again. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure everything looks nicely blended in. Take that blending brush again and just really, really blend everything in, okay? You want it to all look melted together, but not like you're sweating melting. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, don't you? All right, so speaking of, we're going to take our setting spray now because I'm going to be doing my eyelashes and my lipstick. All right, so this is also going to help you uh, achieve that more melted look with your makeup and it will help keep your makeup on your face and not on your phone and in your mask. Now, I've yet to see anybody wear a full face of makeup and not have some of it on their mask. I don't care how much setting spray you use, setting powder, I don't care which one you use. I'm sorry, you have, it's like putting a blanket on your face. You're going to get some stuff on there. That's okay. Don't worry about it, but you're going to get some of it on there. All right. So now we're going in with my favorite primer and just going to go do a nice coat on our lashes. This will help build, um, more volume. Okay and help curl your lashes. Holy Hannah, uh, there's a lot on that eye. Um, and then it also helps condition your lashes, which is really important. Important. Can I talk? No. Uh, if you are like me and you are doing makeup every day, you wanna take really good care of your lashes, right? Because I am doing makeup every day. I maybe have not done it on video or meaning I haven't done it then. Um, maybe twice this month, maybe. I like to show you guys lots of makeup ideas and tutorials and I like to really be consistent, okay? So now I'm going in with my 4D. I do have some twisted mascaras coming. Uh, I only have a limited amount. 
So if you guys are wanting one of mine, let me know. And then, um, I mean, you can order your own, of course. But if you want one of the ones that I'm getting, then let me know and I can mail it out to you. And it should be like $2.50 and under. Okay? But I would take it out of the box. If I take it out of the box and then I can just flatten the box and mail the box with, to you also. If you by chance want to give it away as a gift. But um, I could just mail it without the box. And then, um, yeah. I don't know how much it would cost to ship to the States. It might just be cheaper to go and um, just order it, which you can do underneath my website there. And then what do I have planned this week? What day is today, Thursday? So Friday, I am puppy sitting in the morning for a little bit. Uh, my dogs will really love that. And then I am... Um, I don't know if I have anything else planned on Friday other than of course makeup uh, Saturday I'm doing another head candy uh, live I'm really excited what time is that at four o'clock my time or six o'clock my time I never remember okay we're gonna go with epic on our bottom lashes here I don't normally do my bottom lashes but since this makeup look is so extra let's just go and do it Right, right, there we go. And here we go, done. Okay, what are we gonna do for lips, guys? I feel with such a strong look, such as this, we should probably do a light lip. But you know I wanna do red, right? You know I wanna do red. So. Take off all that foundation that ended up on our lips. And I'm going to put on just a little touch of lip gloss, lip chap, whatever. Okay. Let's do some lip liner in the shade Primal. <laughs> oh, Phoebe. All right. So. There you go. And then fill in. Actually, you know what? No. We're not going to fill them in. We're just going to go in with it. Okay, not sappy. Sensational. Okay, this lip stain, as far as I know, is still available, you guys. You should totally get it. I love it. Watch. Okay, so lip stains I love. And this red lipstick I love because it's a blue red and it's so pretty. Okay. And there we go. And we're done. This is today's makeup look. We've got dark eyes and dark lips going on, which is normally against what I do. But I figured, why not? If I don't like it, I'll just take it off anyways. And if I do like it, Costco is going to get a show, except for the fact they're not going to see my lipstick, which is really too sad. But I like it. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions. You know the rules. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.